How can I 37 show my girlfriend 28 she's being hypocritical for having a male friend after saying men and women can't be friends. Our general dynamic is that she's very opinionated and has a very black and white perspective of thinking, especially when it comes to generalizations, i.e. men and women cannot be friends, whereas I'm a lot more laid back and I try to pride myself on being objective and seeing the gray area. My entire life, I've been able to connect better with women as opposed to men. Most of my closest friends have been women. I've been introduced to many romantic partners, or have met some of my exes by associating with these friends, but I have never dated, pursued, or even thought about pursuing any of my actual friends. When I met my girlfriend, I was working in a restaurant and was very close friends with a few of the servers. We'd go out for drinks slash food, hang out alone, and keep in contact outside of work. My girlfriend, being very insecure, absolutely hated this. We would constantly fight about the fact that I had female friends. There was one friend in particular she absolutely could not stand. I'll call her Jess. I cannot even begin to tell you how many god-awful horrible fights there were over Jess. I was constantly accused by my girlfriend of being in love with Jess. Only being with my girlfriend to bide my time until Jess was single. At one point I was even accused of being the father to Jess's aborted son. I am not exaggerating when I say that I was constantly harassed and interrogated every single day by my girlfriend about Jess and I's secret relationship. Jess did turn out to be a bad friend and we stopped talking two years ago than it was any other friend that my girlfriend didn't like. I still have to listen to my girlfriend rant about Jess and I's secret relationship, by the way. This entire time, I am sent God only knows how many TikToks about how men and women cannot be friends. I am constantly told about men and women she knows in real life cheating and being cheated on with their friends. I am constantly told that if she ever has a guy friend, I should be worried because she's only friends with guys she feels some kind of way about. After a solid year of being constantly harassed by girlfriend about every non-lesbian in my life, we came to a compromise. I will not add any women on Snapchat, I will never hang out alone with another girl, after negotiating from if a girl is there, I shouldn't go, even though she initially agreed that it's okay for me to add friends and colleagues on Facebook and Instagram, as long as I actually know them, she still stalks my friends list and interrogates me about any new woman that may be on there. At this point, I started working in a more male-dominated field, and while I still have to listen to her speculate and accuse me of being in love with whichever random woman I work a shift with, it's usually just a sly comment and only occasionally a full-blown argument. About a year ago, my girlfriend confesses to something sus. The day my grandmother dies, she tells me that she was talking to her ex-situationship. This guy was a real poss, and when he had reached out to her previously, I gave her my blessing to talk to him and get closure, the only catch being they don't meet up, and she saves all the messages between them because she deleted everyone's messages off of her phone. He asked her to meet up with him and suck his dick. I had to argue with her to block him because she doesn't like to block people, and she finally relented. So I was obviously upset because why was he unblocked? Her excuse was she unblocked everybody and he messaged her. That's weird, but okay, let me see the messages. She deleted them. Now I'm pissed and emotionally from the fact that my grandmother just died, we get into a fight and I demand she blocks him again. She says she did. The next day we go back to my place and I've already moved past it until I playfully reach out to grab her phone, and she rips it out my hand. She gives me about three bullshit reasons as to why she did that, then finally tell me it's because he didn't block her yet. At this point I'm furious. I feel betrayed. I feel even more upset because the night before she made another cheating accusation because it was suspicious that I was watching her place a door dash order on my phone, and here she is actually doing something sketchy. I ultimately compromise again and get over. So fast forward to about a few months ago, my girlfriend has settled down quite a bit in regards to the whole cheating thing. I mainly associate with men now. There are women I work with, but we're not close. 
A seldom few are added into the abyss that I call my Facebook friends list or my Instagram followers, never to be interacted with. I am still accused of collecting women as backups. My girlfriend starts a new job at a hotel. She immediately connects with her manager, a guy I'll call Jeff. Jeff has a girlfriend, but apparently spends his entire shift pining after my girlfriend and shit-talking his girlfriend. He stays late on her shifts to help her. Their friendship progresses from the point of her calling him off the clock to come into work and solve issues at their job to him getting a job at the sister hotel and just going to my girlfriend's job to hang out with her. He calls her when he's bored, but not when he's around his girlfriend because she doesn't want him talking to my girlfriend. He's openly admitted to her that he has a crush on her. She doesn't see a problem with this at all. What worries me, girlfriend has a history of cheating. She cheated on her last partner, but claims it wasn't a real relationship so it doesn't count, despite the fact that they were both in an exclusive relationship. She also does not want me interacting with this guy. At all. I made an effort to introduce her to Jess and any of my other friends. I told her that at any point in time she could talk to Jess about our friendship. I am still not allowed to have any women as friends in my life. Out of anger, and in an attempt to get her to see the hypocrisy, I told her if she has a guy friend and she is going to break the rules we have for friends, then I should be able to have friends that are women. She pretended to agree, but it then turned into, oh, so which girl do you have in mind? And who are you going to run to? Which then resulted in a fight. I have no idea how to proceed. I'm considering breaking up with her. But I feel I might be overreacting. I am worried about being cheated on because our relationship cannot come back from that. But I am also incredibly upset by the double standard. How can I make her see my point of view that her behavior is hypocritical? Comments. Alks da great. I don't know why he's taking you this long to consider breaking up with this chick. Just fucking break up with her. Good lord. This should be the only advice you need and take in effect immediately. Roby John. He should have broken up with her in half the time it took him to write this post. Designer Revenue 9803. Reading this, I was thinking, this has projection from a cheater vibes, not some principled stand about opposite sex friendships, while in a relationship written all over it. Then I got to the part where you said she has a history of cheating on her boyfriend, and she has no remorse, nor is she apologetic about it. Don't even mention the part where she's texting her ex behind your back and deleting texts. Dude, why are you still with her? It doesn't even sound like this is a good relationship you have. Maybe take her at her word, and understand what befriending a new guy who is into her means for her. And see this as a sign that your relationship has run its natural course and choose when slash how to exit on your own terms, lol. Or any ogre. She set boundaries, you respected them. You set the same boundaries, she violates M. So why are you staying? Blonde Afro. She is toxic af. You should break up. This won't end well. Update six weeks later. A few commentators asked me why I stayed with her for so long. The honest truth? I love her. I still love her, and I can ultimately recognize that she was extremely hypocritical, emotionally abusive, and controlling. I never really believed that was the real her, because when I met her, she had started the depo shot and that made her bonkers. As the effects of the shot wore off, she started to mellow out. Even though it was still bad, the very, very slow progress gave me hope, and that's what I held on to. It's very easy to look at my original post and think only of bad things because that's the only thing I shared. But we had so many great moments too. I did end up breaking up with her. With that being said, this is probably going to be a longer post. So if that's all the update you want, then you can stop reading here. After I made this initial post, I read every comment as they came in. Eventually I ended up reading her my original post in full and all of your replies. This was, of course, an issue for her. First it was, why would you do that? Why would you post our personal business online? Then it turned into, who cares what they think, they're just random people on the internet. We argued every day for about a week. I'll be honest, none of the advice really mattered. 
I didn't follow it. I love her after all, and I believe we could work it out. We talked a lot too, I genuinely believe she had no feelings for Jeff whatsoever. I also believed her when she told me that she told him that they would never be more than friends. Whether I was being gullible or not, the main issue now was with the double standard of her having a close guy friend when women aren't even allowed to look at me without it being a topic of argument later. So I did what I have done the entire relationship. I compromised my feelings and moved on with the understanding that I would no longer be tolerating any accusations about me being unfaithful or my feelings of love slash attraction towards other women. At that point, we were talking about the argument instead of actually arguing, and we got on the topic of Jess again. My secret relationship and my love for her. I told her that I wasn't going to put up with it anymore. The subject then got changed to a girl I currently work with, Tiff. Tiff has been a subject of many, many fights between my girlfriend and I. I'm obviously in love with her because I tell my girlfriend that I can't stand her. I reassure her again and tell her that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I am then told that I'm being dismissive of her feelings. I tell her, I told you that I'm not going to tolerate this anymore. If you can't drop it, then I don't want to talk to you anymore tonight. And I hung up on her. The next day I'm at work and I texted her asking if she was still in a mood and she says no. Then she starts texting me huge paragraphs saying, it's okay if you do like Tiff, if you can just be honest with me, we can work past it together. At this point, I'm starting to get frustrated, and I get upset. I was literally begging her to drop it. I finally just said, this is the last time I'm going to tell you, I do not have feelings for Tiff, please, stop, I don't want to talk to you, if this is all we're going to talk about. She then has the audacity to say, I think you do. I just don't think you know you do, you're too young to know how you feel and you probably just don't realize how you really feel, this was my breaking point. As I sat there, staring at my phone, a singular comment from my last post just popped into my head, imagine how much your mental health will improve once you dump her, and I finally just texted her that this isn't working out and that I'm breaking up with her. Like I had anticipated, she did not take it well. I've tried to break up with my girlfriend in the past when we first started dating. She showed up to my home and threatened to kill herself if I left her. Call me stupid, but that worked on me. She knows that I've attempted before. She knows that I lost my best friend ever to suicide. And I told her if she ever threatened me with that again, I'd have her committed. She starts freaking out. Calling me ten times while I am at work blowing up my phone, saying that she is in physical pain because I broke up with her. She can't breathe. Her chest hurts. I stick to my guns and just say, if that's really how you're feeling I can call an ambulance for you. I keep telling her that I'm breaking up with her. I don't hear from her again for a few hours. She calls me on my way home from work, asking why I haven't texted or called her. She was so upset that she fell and hurt herself. I just keep telling her, I can call an ambulance for you if you'd like. Eventually I say, she's only embarrassing herself by making these threats, and if she doesn't stop I'll call the police and have them commit her. Then she starts telling me that I don't care about her. I don't love her. The whole nine yards. I just keep saying, I love you so much, and this breaks my heart, but my mental health is suffering because of the way you treat me. Finally, she just tells me that I can't break up with her. I don't have a good reason to, and I say, I am a grown adult in the United States of America. I can break up with you because the sky is blue if I so desire. You're probably wondering why I haven't just blocked her at this point. And it's because I was genuinely terrified that she would show up to my job and make a scene or show up at my house. Which leads me to the next part of the story. She keeps asking me how long I'm going to be mad at her and being in denial about the fact that we've broken up. The next morning, I woke up really early to take my roommate to work. I changed my relationship status on Facebook to single and changed my profile picture. On my way home, she calls me again. Where are you? Why aren't you home? I freaked out. Screaming at her on the phone, you better not be inside my house. Leave my house, you lunatic stuff like that. 
I even threaten to call the police on her and get a restraining order. She calls my bluff. I pulled into a parking lot where I can see her car in front of my house. She was never in my house, just in the parking lot. I texted her to leave and keep telling her I'll call the cops. She stops answering. I didn't want to call the police, mainly because I've often seen them weaponized by the woman in my life, which is another reason I didn't want to confront her. So I called her dad instead. I told him the situation, and it turns out he followed her to my house. They lived together to get her to leave. I later find out that Jeff did call her the day we broke up. He was happy that her relationship with me was over. She cursed him out and blocked his number. I just keep telling her that the fact that it even came to this just proves that she doesn't respect me. The next few weeks have been her calling and texting me to work things out. Multiple paragraph apologies. Promises of change. Her family started out as understanding and supportive of me, but as of lately have just been randomly calling me behind her back to ask, how long is this going to go on, because she is incredibly depressed. Despite the fact I've made it clear that as of right now, I have no intention of taking her back. After one phone call from her stepdad, where he started to raise his voice, I just hung up and blocked her whole family. I just keep telling her the same thing. I have no intention of getting back together with you maybe in the future, after you work on yourself we can talk about it. I haven't blocked her, because I do care about her. I want her in my life just not in a romantic sense. I tell her that if she can't handle just being my friend, that I will have to stop talking to her altogether. And that just because I am her friend, I don't want her to think that means we are getting back together. Last time I spoke to her, a few days ago, it seems that she's finally understanding the gravity of the situation. She is taking accountability and has already met with a therapist. We've been broken up for about a month and a half. I do feel a lot better mentally. I feel kind of free. I don't have to justify anything to anybody. I also feel alone and a bit depressed at times. I feel stupid for letting someone emotionally bully me into getting rid of all my close friends. It's a mixed bag, but I'm taking this time to work on myself. TLDR, I broke up with my girlfriend because even after I let her have her way, she still tried to accuse me of cheating and being in love with other women. Then told me I, a 28-year-old man, was too young to know how I really felt. She then called me 30 to 50 times in two days and showed up at my house after trying to emotionally blackmail me into taking her back. Comments. Tiger's blood. Why would you want to be friends with a controlling, manipulative ex-girlfriend? You know the second any other girl comes into your life, it's going to be drama from her. Don't do it. Just move on and leave her in the past. Construction, no 9,678. I think he still hasn't processed just how awful she was to him. She's clearly played enough games with him that he feels he needs to be in her life in some way. Op, please read this comment and block her. Whatever she does next will never be your fault, even if she ends up hurting yourself. She is a fully grown adult and has a support system outside of you. You need to cut her off completely and let her work on herself independently. She'll never make the progress she needs to ever associate with you again while you're still in her life. Good luck, man. Hopefully you can talk to a therapist and work on why you stayed for so long, why you never called an ambulance, etc. Dust Siddle Siander. This woman has deep mental health issues and isn't mentally healthy enough to be in a romantic relationship with anyone. Love Alone 88. Why would you stay friends with her? Why would you dangle the carrot of maybe taking her back in the future? Cut her completely loose and block her. You're not doing her or yourself any favors. Zero Doctor Zero. Yeah, the maybe part can only have made things worse. It gave her possibly false hope it encouraged her to keep bombing him bad move, for both parties not fair to her, harder on him. Grimwall. Moreover, any woman worth a damn isn't going to date a man who won't cut off his manipulative ex. You need to actually close the door on her, or you haven't moved on. Nobody wants to hear, it's complicated from a nearly 30 old man. You're pulling the same shit you did in your last post. You aren't committing to what you know you need to do, and it's going to continue to weigh on you until you do. I'm not saying this to denigrate you because you made a big change and should be proud of that. 
I want you to be conscious that you are still operating in half measures. Block and move on. Helpful Corgi 5716. It baffles me that people try to end terrible relationships but stay friends with the person who's been hurting them. You can't be friends with someone who is comfortable causing you pain. Crazy Mike 419. He did the classic error, maybe in the future, for an abuser that's the little crack in the armor. She will be back with him in a few months. First month will be everything he dreamed of, then it will transition to how much the breakup hurt her and how much damage he did to her, but it's okay she forgives him. That will quickly transition into being used to manipulate and punish him further. Classic Darvo.